One of my least popular opinions is that I don't like cheese. I mean, I'm okay with it on pizza, but I need at least one other topping in every bite because the flavor of cheese it, it's just not for me. And it's made me question why I don't like cheese, because cheese is so beloved. When people find out I don't like cheese, they're very shocked. And for a long time, I've sort of tried to rationalize my dislike of cheese with people. I've told them, like, well, cheese stinks, and I don't like to eat food that smells bad, or it's rotten milk, and why would I want to eat something that's rotten? But I realized that there are other fermented foods that have live bacterial cultures in them that I enjoy quite a lot. One of them is kimchi, which is a Korean dish made of cabbage fermented in like a hot, peppery, salty porridge. It's really delicious. But like cheese, it's got a fairly pungent smell to it. I tend to eat it alone and to brush my teeth afterwards if I'm going out someplace. But that's made me wonder, why do people all over the world love fermented foods? I mean, think about it, there's so many. There's yogurt, alcohol, which I'm kind of on the fence about, but lots of people love, sourdough bread, all these things that have live cultures growing in them. So after a very cursory Google search, I've discovered a few reasons why this might be the case. First of all, just out of necessity. I mean, like, you can't eat all your food while it's fresh. You gotta preserve it in some way. And before refrigeration, there were only a few methods. You could dry it, cure it with salt or some other curing substance, or actively let it ferment and let stuff grow in it. Side note about our current obsession with fresh food. I think rotten food or spoiled food was never the ideal, but back in other periods of history, the fear of rotten or spoiled food was not as strong. Obviously, they didn't know as much about germs back then, but there are lots of cookbooks from the 18th century that'll tell you how to spice your meat to flavor it in case the meat's gone off a little bit and you need to mask that yucky, rotten taste. So finding creative ways to preserve food and keep it from becoming literal poison is one reason why I think people have grown to have a taste for fermented foods. Second of all, I don't think people understood the concept of gut microbiomes back when kimchi or wine or cheese were invented, but if you're pooping outside and not in the comfort of your own home, you want to be able to do that easily and quickly, and if you eat something and have that desired effect, you're gonna notice and tell your friends about it. And third of all, I think the reason why people like fermented foods just comes down to taste. Humans, for whatever reason, like variety. We like complex, new, unusual flavors. And that's what things like cheese and yogurt and kimchi and sauerkraut and pickles and wine offer us. So I will try my hardest to appreciate the great variety of humankind, and I will not yuck your yum when you're eating cheese. So please, Try your hardest not to yuck my yum when I'm eating kimchi.